Astrology for the month of July, the month of motherhood, and that is something I majored in, and that is why I'm an entire month and eight days late. But <clears throat> as you know, I'm hardcore devotee, and I cannot miss a month, regardless of whether or not I have an audience. So I just want to touch on a few topics. Being that Mars is finally into Libra, or was in the month of July early on and that Jupiter in Gemini is still current and was at the time. And Saturn, completely and fully in Libra, we have been having a lot of what is called, um, there's a grand squarish aspect between the Saturn in Libra, Uranus, Pluto, and then the Sun in Cancer, uh, Pluto in Capricorn. And what this means is that there's a high degree of perfectionism afoot. Do not fall for this, people. I really did, which is probably why it took me so long to get to the computer. But I'm not perfect. And I hope that you don't hold yourself to unreasonably high standards, because the month of July, it was really hard on a couple of different signs, but mostly Librans. And certainly, mostly people who tend to be driven towards perfection. Okay, so that's all I want to say about the general aspects of the month of July 2012. And here now, your horoscope. Oh, something sexy. Cheers. <laughs> Hello, dear Capricorn, for July 2012. Well, this would be the one month that you probably are not having such a great month out of the year. Pluto on your sign is giving you a major boost and getting you to clean up your act around um, how to treat people, how to work, how to work hard, how to keep it clean. And that's like the key ticket for Capricorn because they haven't always in the past kept it really clean. They can be a little bit defiant, but they do it in such a way people don't really notice. So. Um, so there's that, and you'll be working on your home and visits to Ikea. What can I say? I go there all the time, Friday night. Great place to have dinner. Great place for a date. All right, Capricorn. We'll talk to you in a minute. 